Connected speech in the English language is one of the most important things to get right if you want to speak like a native, but it can also be one of the most difficult. So in this English pronunciation tutorial, you're going to discover how you can use the whispering technique to immediately improve your connected speech, and that's going to enable you to speak English more clearly and more confidently. Hi, it's Michael. Welcome back to another British Accent Method English pronunciation tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can apply the whispering technique to your connected speech so that you feel an immediate boost in your confidence. I created the whispering technique because clients of mine who are non-native English speakers who are living and working in the UK and other English speaking countries around the world, they wanted to improve their connected speech and yet they were having difficulty because of how English connecting speech works and because of how it's different to their native languages. And the difficulty that a lot of my clients were having was they were finding that when certain words came together, they would naturally pause in between those two words, where in English, we wouldn't pause. And even though they knew what they wanted to do and they wanted to connect them up, it just wasn't happening for them. So I created the whispering technique to help them to quickly and easily overcome this. It's massively effective and it's gonna be massively effective for you too. So we're about to dive into it, but before we do, there's a couple of important things that you need to know about connected speech to enable you to get the most from the whispering technique, okay? So the first thing is this. The whispering technique is something that you apply to the rules of connected speech. And if you're not already confident with the rules of connected speech, in the videos you're going to watch after this, you're going to see exactly what the rules of connected speech are and how you can apply them to your English speaking so you understand how you should be connecting words up in English to speak English like a native. So the whispering technique is something that we apply to the rules of connected speech. So this is very important. You'll only get the most from the whispering technique when you apply it to the rules of connected speech and you're about to learn them in the video after this. The second thing is this. Connected speech means that we are connecting our speech. We're gluing it together. In the British accent method, connecting speech is what gives you silver level pronunciation. It's something that you apply to clear pronunciation of sounds and words in English and even rhythm in English. And connecting speech is like the glue that glues your English together. And here's where many people run into real difficulties. Because English is a stress-timed language and it has its own unique rhythm and stress-timed approach, it may well be different, it probably is different, to your native language and how you connect things up in your language. And to really speak like a native in English, we want our words to flow smoothly from one word to the next. Whilst this might be quite an easy concept for you to understand, to implement it is quite a lot more difficult. So the first thing I'm going to teach you today is a very, very important concept that you can use to immediately understand how phrases should connect up in English and how they should feel. Here's the concept. What you need to know is that if you used a very long word in English, like proletarianization, you don't pause in that word. You don't pause in between syllables. You don't say pro le ter asian okay? It all comes together and you say proletarianization. It's a word without pauses. You want to think of connected speech as a long word, okay? So yes, you're always going to pause in between phrases in English, but you want your phrases as much as possible to connect up as though they were a long word. For example, if I said the phrase, how are you? How are you? I'm using the rhythmic reduced form of are, and I'm saying, how are you? I'm not saying, how are you? Or how are you? I'm connecting it all up as though it's one long word, and I'm saying, how are you? So this is very, very important. And this is the first thing that I really want you to take away from this video. Whenever you're thinking about phrases in connected speech and applying connected speech to your English speaking, think of it like this. When we speak, we express ideas. We're expressing groups of words and not words on their own. 
So I want you to think of each group of words that you express as though it was a very long word in English. So how are you? I'm going to the gym. I'm eating my dinner. All of those phrases, I don't pause in between any of the words in those phrases. I imagine that each one of those phrases is just a very long word without pauses. Okay, and immediately if you apply this word approach to your connected speech, that should immediately help you to feel how connected speech should feel in English. So, Now that we know that, we can get on to the whispering technique. And remember, the whispering technique is what you're going to apply to the rules of connected speech that you're going to learn about in the next videos. When we speak English, we have vowel sounds that are always voiced. And then we have consonants that are voiced and unvoiced. And that's how we speak English. But what can cause difficulty for you as a non-native English speaker is in connecting speech, If we're combining sounds that your native language doesn't have or groups of sounds and consonant combinations that your native language might not have, especially if your native language is a language where syllables always end in a vowel sound, this can be particularly challenging in English because in English we have words that can end in multiple consonants combined. And then if the next word begins in multiple consonants combined as well, it can be really, really difficult for you to pronounce. And that's why you're likely pausing unnecessarily in between words. And that's what we want to avoid for you to have connected speech like a native. So how do you get around that? Well, first of all, to get around it, you need to be able to feel how the phrase would feel without pauses. We know that the concept that we apply to this is to imagine that the phrase is one long word, but that won't stop you from pausing. What will stop you from pausing is to take the phrase that you want to say and very, very simply whisper it. So if the phrase that I'm going to say that you're having difficulty pronouncing is, I'm eating my dinner, What we're going to do is we're going to practice whispering that first and that should enable you to say it almost immediately without pausing at all. Like this. I'm eating my dinner. I'm eating my dinner. I'm eating my dinner. As soon as you remove the voicing from the phrase that you're saying, it becomes much, much, much easier to say it without pausing. So what I'm now going to do to enable you to feel this immediately right away is I'm going to repeat the phrase I've just given you and then I'm going to give you two more phrases that are much more advanced. They're much more challenging in connected speech. And the phrases that I'm about to give you just after this are the exact phrases that clients of mine have been having difficulty saying without pausing. And yet as soon as they applied the whispering technique to these phrases, they were able to say them almost immediately without pausing. So we're going to get to those two phrases in just a moment. But first of all, the phrase I just gave you. I'm eating my dinner. This is what we're going to say. And again, remember the rules that you need to know to actually apply to this phrase, you're going to learn in the video after this one. Let's go. We're going to whisper it. I'm eating my dinner. I'm eating my dinner. I'm eating my dinner. I'm eating my dinner. If you take the phrase, I'm eating my dinner, imagine it as one long word without pauses and then say that with whispering, you should almost immediately be able to say that without pausing. And then very simply, all you need to do is add the voicing back to that phrase. And then you've got the phrase with perfect connected speech, just like a native. So now if I say that phrase with voicing, like I'd normally say it, I'm eating my dinner. I'm eating my dinner. I'm eating my dinner. Right, And just as a bonus tip there, you might have been able to hear the intonation that I was applying to that phrase. And intonation is gold level in the British accent method. More on that in another video. But for now, let's get to the two challenging phrases that my clients were having difficulty with. And my clients are non-native English speaking professionals like you who require clear spoken English for their career progression and their life in English. Okay, so these are real phrases that real people were having difficulty with until they applied the whispering technique to them. Okay, phrase one is it's not at its best. It's not at its best. Okay, now I'm also saying this phrase with native English rhythm and the rhythm of the phrase is na 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 na. 
No, 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 no. Let me say the phrase one more time slowly now, and then we're going to apply the whispering technique to it. Try saying the phrase out loud now with me and seeing if you're having any difficulty with the phrase and if any pauses are coming into the phrase. The way to tell this is one, you might notice a pause in the voicing or a pause in the airflow, or it might feel like you're choking. Sometimes if you struggle to speak English without pausing, it can feel like you're almost choking and that you can't get the air out when you want it to. And that's what the whispering technique is so effective in helping you to overcome, okay? So nice and slowly, it's not at its best. It's not at its best. It's not at its best. Now, one thing you might be able to hear there is one, there is subtle pauses in airflow for the T sound and the plosive consonants, but that's completely separate to connecting speech, okay? We're not trying to stop the pause in airflow for our T sound or our plosive consonants because that is how we make them. The pauses we're trying to get rid of here are in between the words. The second thing you might have noticed there is that I'm releasing the T sound in not and at at the beginning of the next syllable. That's a very, very important thing that you need to be aware of in English. And that's one of the connecting speech rules that you're about to learn about in the video that you're going to watch after this. So one more time with voicing, it's not at its best. Now let's take this phrase, imagine that it's one long word and apply the whispering technique to it. It's Practice that as many times as you need to. It should immediately feel so much easier to say it by whispering. And then if you just simply add the voicing back to it, you should have it. It's not at its best. It's not at its best. Okay, now let's take that phrase, just tweak it around a little bit and say it wasn't at its best. It wasn't at its best. Slow it down, then apply the whispering technique and fix it. Okay, so first of all, go ahead and say it out loud now. The phrase is it wasn't at its best it wasn't at its best, slowly, it wasn't at its best, it wasn't at its best, and now with the whispering technique, it wasn't at its best, it wasn't at its best, it wasn't at its best. Very simple. And now let's apply some voicing to it again. It wasn't at its best, it wasn't at its best. It wasn't at its best. Now, you might be applying the whispering technique to these phrases and still having difficulty. And if you are, that's probably because you're not 100% confident yet with the rules that you should be applying to your connecting speech, okay? There's certain things that we do in English and in the British accent method to enable us to glue our English together so that we speak English like a native. And in the videos that you're about to watch now, you're going to discover how to apply the rules of connected speech to your English speaking. And once you know these rules and then apply the whispering technique and the word approach to your connecting speech, it's going to enable you to transform your connecting speech and speak English like a native. And you're going to learn all the rules that you need to know to speak English like a native with regards to connected speech in these videos right here. So I'll see you here in just a second.